in this lecture we will discuss uniform probability distribution uniform probability distribution is the simplest continuous distribution and i am starting with this distribution to build some fundamental concepts let's start with an example suppose that we have a random variable x and this random variable is representing the flight time of an airplane traveling from delhi to mumbai and let's suppose that the flight time can take any value in the interval 100 minutes to 120 minutes first things first can you tell me if x is a discrete random variable or a continuous random variable well in this case x is a continuous random variable because it can assume any value in the interval 100 minutes to 120 minutes okay also let's say we have sufficient data available to conclude that the probability of a flight time within any 1 minute interval is the same as the probability of a flight time within any other 1 minute interval so uh, by this i mean the probability that the flight time is between 100 and 101 minutes is equal to the probability that the flight time is between 103 and 104 minutes or say 116 and 117 minutes so this is what we already know by definition a uniform distribution is a distribution in which all the intervals of the same length have equal probability in our example all the intervals that i have taken have equal length that is 1 minute and we have some past data as well to conclude that the probability of these 1 minute intervals are equal so by definition in this example our random variable x is said to have a uniform probability distribution now let us discuss the uniform probability density function we already know that all the 1 minute intervals have equal probabilities so now can you tell me what is the probability that value of x will lie between 100 and 101 it is equal to 1 by 20 right this is because we have 20 such intervals and all the intervals are equally likely so we can write f x is equal to 1 by 20 for values of x between 100 and 101 similarly we can say that the probability that value of x will lie between 101 and 102 is also equal to 1 by 20 so f of x is equal to 1 by 20 for value of x between 101 and 102 um notice that i am using small x here so this is how we denote the values of our random variable to denote a random variable we use capital x and to denote the values of a random variable we use small x so this is the notation that we follow similarly we can write this for all the intervals that we have okay so in the end we can write f of x is equal to 1 by 20 for value of x between 119 and 120 because the value of fx is same for all the intervals i'm sure i can combine all these expressions to write this so f of x is equal to 1 by 20 for values of x between 
100 and 120 and f of x is equal to 0 elsewhere. This is because like f of x is 0 elsewhere because we already know that x lies between 100 and 120. So the probability that value of x will be greater than 120 or less than 100 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is the probability density function for our random variable x in this example. Because our random variable is uniformly distributed, we can call this a uniform probability density function. So a uniform probability density function. Okay. Let me put brackets here. Okay. So whenever you know that the random variable that we have is uniformly distributed, say if it's given in the question or if you have data to support this, then you can use a formula to write the uniform probability density function. And the formula is this. So f of x is equal to 1 divided by b minus a for values of x between a and b and 0 elsewhere. So according to this formula fx is equal to 1 divided by b minus a for the value of x between a and b and fx is equal to 0 for all other values of x. In our example, the random variable x can take values in the interval 100 to 120. So in our case, a is equal to 100 and b is equal to 120. So using this formula, we can write the probability density function for our random variable x as 1 upon 120 minus 100 so this is equal to 1 by 20 only for values of x between 100 and 1 by 20 and 0 elsewhere and this is exactly what we got earlier like this uniform probability density function okay so you can use this formula as well if you are working with a random variable that is uniformly distributed and using this formula you can find the uniform probability density function. Okay, so if we now draw a uniform probability distribution for flight time then this is how it will look like quite straightforward, right? So uh, the uniform probability distribution is also called rectangular probability distribution and I think it is clear from this figure why we call it rectangular probability distribution. Because we are dealing with a continuous random variable here, so a question like what is the probability that value of x will be equal to 115 won't make sense. So in this case, an acceptable probability question would be what is the probability that the flight time is between 100 and 110 minutes? Because we know that the flight time should be between 100 and 120 minutes and because the random variable is uniformly distributed over this interval, I'm sure you won't mind if I say that the probability of x lying between 100 and 110 is equal to 0 0.50. Okay. So this is all for this lecture.